Be not afraid, demon. I am not here to harm you. In fact, quite the opposite. Whoa, whoa. There's no need for a weapon. Please, hear me out. I was able to enter your house through a tear in the dimension. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that will not work. I understand your panic, but please. May I speak now? If you will simply relax for a moment, I can explain everything. There's no need to try and fight, as I have not come to harm you. None of us have. Yes, there's more than just one. I am a member of a celestial race known as well, you're kind of given us many names over the years. Angels, demons, spirits, yokai, gods, and many, many others. All you need to know is that we are beings with the power of creation in our souls. All we must do to make something is to think it. And then will it to be? If you'd like an example, tell me your favorite meal. Hmm. Excellent taste. Feel free to take it as I have no need for sustenance. Well, I too partake in eating from time to time. But only if I'm in the mood for it. I have no need to eat for survival. However, this is besides the point of our conversation. May I continue? Thank you. You see, with my race having the power of creation at our fingertips, we can bring to life wonderful, wonderful things. But, we can also bring to life the most horrid thoughts imaginable. Thus, we have developed a system in order to ensure that we don't create anything that would bring about unjust harm. Think of it as a governing body. Only it is a mutual beneficial system for all. We are allowed to unleash our power of creation as we see fit, including the ability to create other forms of life, as long as we do not cause any suffering to the life we bring into existence. As I'm sure you're quite familiar with, your world is not one without suffering. This is not by our intention. Rather, your world simply flew under the radar, as you would say. An honest and true mistake on our end, for which my entire race offers our sincerest apologies for. The allowance of this horror to go on for such an extended duration is truly the greatest atrocity of my time. Right, I should backtrack a bit. You see, all of my race is able to create their own dimensions. Unique worlds with which are able to birth anything we so desire. Again, as long as we induce no suffering to its inhabitants. I suppose you could say that we abide by three laws of creation. No creating scenarios which would cause 
living things to suffer, no living sentient beings unattended and without guidance, and all sentient beings must be given free will. Unfortunately, your dimensions creator only abided by that last rule. As for leaving Earth unattended, we have a system in place for just such a scenarios. Our minds naturally crave uniqueness in our lives, just as yours do. So if an individual ever decides that they are unable to or no longer to wish to care for their universe, they can. Think of it like an adoption center. They leave that universe in the care of the officials until another willing creator decides to take it under their wing. Yours, however, simply left you alone. Left you to drift endlessly in the rift between dimensions. They broke the second rule of creation. Never leave sentient beings without guidance and unfortunately that is where we entered the first rule of creation never induce suffering on living things uh, i'm sorry this is just difficult to talk about I will give it to you straight. However, your dimensions creator was a monster. Twisted, cruel, sadistic. They enjoyed watching living beings suffer. I mean, that? predator-prey relationships? Purposefully igniting conflicts through subtle interference and limited resources? Those kind of things are unheard of in other worlds. It makes me shudder just thinking about it. If anything, it gets even worse when you know that your creator just left. I mean, they used to do nothing but interfere with your daily lives, creating tales of ghosts and the fae and cryptids, each persona being different from the last. But one day, they simply vanish from your world, leaving you alone. They should have turned you in to be adopted. However, they had to have known doing so would expose their wicked cruelty. No, not to worry. We found them. And they will be facing due justice for their tormented actions. But... We didn't catch them for a long time. And I offer my deepest, deepest apologies that we weren't able to arrive sooner. Believe me, we would have known. If only your creator had not obscured dimension existence in a fabric of space time. Honestly, that's what scares me the most. Did your creator hide your existence because they wished to not be caught? Or did they wish for you to suffer internally? Alone. In the dark. <laughs> Sorry, I... I apologize. This, it just gets difficult to talk about.
I've never seen anything like it in my life. You know, I've also never seen a race quite like humans before. And I meant that as a compliment. I have a great deal of respect for your kind. They are resilient, enduring. And despite all the torment you've been put through, you've managed to create so many marvelous things. Apologies, I've gone off topic again. Allow me to continue. My kind has come here to let you know that you're okay. You're all safe now. Because nothing will ever harm you again. I guarantee it. We have your dimensions and a trauma ward would be the best way to describe it. You all will receive nothing but the utmost care and attention in our treatment. We will heal your broken world and ensure that none of you ever feel hurt again. Actually, we've uh, already started the healing process. Animals no longer need to eat to survive and predators no longer have any hunting instincts. You'll also begin to notice things that used to kill you can no longer cause harm. Accidentally slip up while chopping food? Your body won't be cut. Slip and fall off a high ledge? You may experience discomfort and become tired from the fall, but you will no longer sustain any injuries. And we have already plans for moving forward in the future. We will assist your kind with colonizing other planets in this universe. And with that amount of open space, we can begin to give all those departed souls new bodies to inhabit. Just like the ones they used to have. Oh, it will be just so wonderful. Why can't we what? Oh. Um. The thing is, we can. We could simply give you the tools necessary to colonize other worlds, or reach other such advancement. However, all sentient beings desire challenge. To some extent, at least. Your kind are inherently curious, natural thinkers, quite a lot like us in a way. Because of that, you can't simply have lives free of problems to solve. Granted, the problems your previous creator left for you were horrifically unethical, but we'll give you other problems. Problems with less stakes, problems that will solve eventually. Your kind just has to figure it out for yourselves. We may give you a nudge in the right direction here and there, but never would we want to detract you from your ingenuity. After all, just think about what your species has accomplished. Advanced medicine, gorgeous art, and even space travel. Most dimensions can get even half this far without the assistance of one of my own. For that, you have truly impressed me. Don't think of these problems to solve as punishment. Think of them like enrichment activities. You can't simply leave a dog in the same fence and yard all day without anything in it. You must give them toys, games, obstacle courses, and other such things to keep them happy. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to insult you. It's just that, well, I see you as a dog in the same way that I see a dog as a human. All lives are equally precious in my eyes. Of course, in a world with such cruel rules as survival of the fittest, I wouldn't expect that lesson to come naturally to humans. Not yet, at least. Right. <laughs> I do have a habit of rambling, don't I? I'm sorry. Getting back on the topic, um, I am somewhat of a, um, an employee, if you could say. I work for the trauma ward and I have a very important job to do. My task is to assist you in recovering from the terrors this world has inflicted upon you. It's not just you. Every living thing in this universe has been assigned a sort of guardian angel for the time being. Someone to assist them in healing from the traumas they had the misfortune to experience here. If I may, I have a request for you. Should you let me, I will gaze into your mind and learn what I must do in order to assist your recovery. I know you value your privacy, so I will not gaze if you do not wish. Although, I also understand that it can be difficult to vocalize what you need especially in a world that forces you to act strong all the time. So, do you trust me? Thank you. I offer my sincerest gratitude. This will only take a moment. so sorry you had to go through that. That's horrible. You need a hug, don't you? You're okay. Everything is okay. You're safe now. I will never let you suffer again. There's no need to fear. Your world will never know pain again. Not as long as one of us is still protecting it. You can cry if you need to. It's okay. Remember, you don't need to act tough anymore. There, there. Good job. I know you needed to let those feelings out. I'm so proud of you. It's okay. You live in a peaceful world now. No more suffering. No more pain. No more death. Just love, kindness, and safety forever. That I can promise. <laughs>